what is going on guys welcome back to another video on my channel in today's video i'm going to be giving some advice that i wish i would have known when i was 17 years old starting as a college student for the first time so without further ado let's get right into it all right the first thing that i wish i would have known back when i was 17 as a first time college student as a first generation college student i'll be the first to tell you you don't need to have everything figured out when i started i was majoring in pre-nursing so for the first two years aside from doing my undergrad I was also doing prerequisite classes for nursing because where I was going Sac State for those of you who know by now you the program is very very uh, hard to get in and it's a very uh, what's the word for it it's a very high like interested program meaning that there's a lot of people trying to get into the nursing program at Sac State and for those of you who have been going to colleges in California who do nursing you know what I'm talking about it's a very hard program to get in so I was doing prerequisite classes classes and undergrad classes all for my main goal to get into the nursing program at Sac State but within two years towards the ending of my sophomore year I, I know I know after two years I realized I was like bro nursing isn't even something I really want to do um, I want to do more business because I was always business minded I was always entrepreneurship minded so I transitioned everything all my site classes I took my bio classes every class that I took that was geared towards getting into nursing after two years I switched everything over over to business so that was a big transition for me and now five years later I'm graduated with my business admin degree and then some of those classes that I used for nursing I was able to roll it over into minoring in psychology so business admin degree concentrating in finance minoring in psych and so I'll be the first to tell you that you don't need to have it all figured out during your journey during your process be open to changes and be open to be like changing your major if it's not something you want to do and you figure that out later on the second thing that I want to say is to travel a lot and make new experiences no matter how small those experiences are so if you're someone who's not really financially able to travel big like go from the current city or state that you're in to a whole new state like travel from California to New York City if you're not able to do that financially as a 17 18 19 year old the minimal thing that you can do is go to a new coffee shop go to the city next to you for lunch one day with your friends go to just something you know something new something out of your comfort zone and the reason why I say that is because as a college student as someone who's learning in the classroom environment who's trying to get your degree who's trying to get good grades who's studying and doing homework and all that traveling and gaining new experiences is stuff you can learn outside of the classroom environment that's gonna help you develop from the person you are into the person you want to become so me personally I I've traveled to more than five states now in my five years of college and the funny thing is up until I was 18 years old 17 years old I never traveled anywhere I never traveled out of state I never traveled to anywhere big and I'm telling you right now if I didn't do that as a 17 18 19 year old I would not be where I am today way more developed way more smart about how I think of the world and looking from different perspectives in certain situations so that'll be number two make sure you travel and gain experiences as much as you can no matter how small they are because it will benefit you four or five years later down the line okay now the third thing that I want to say which is kind of tough as a college student um, especially if you're 17 18 19 years old without a lot of job experience without being able to make a lot of money like some of your friends around you who may not be in college is to save and invest as much money as you can possibly do on a monthly basis because your future self five years later Later, well thank you I promise you that and when I say save and invest as much as you can so two things that you can google that maybe I'll cover in another video is a high yield savings account google it it's it will definitely benefit you and then a Roth IRA so you can save in your high yield savings account and, and invest in your Roth IRA and both of these things are structured to help you financially in the future because all of us me even my friends my family everyone around me when when we go throughout our daily life we don't really think that we don't really think of our future self we don't really think that damn how is our future self financially gonna be how, how is my future self gonna afford everything and maybe retirement all that stuff you don't really think about it because we already deal with so much on a daily basis but I'm telling you right now for the four years that you're in college if you save at least 20 bucks 
not even a lot 20 bucks 30 bucks 50 bucks 100 200 if you can on a monthly basis then all of that adds up and you're gaining interest on it if you do it the proper way so four or five years down the line when you look back you did that in such a structured and small way that it didn't break the bank when you were doing it as a college student, as a newcomer in college. And you have a bunch of money to sit on once you graduate that you can use to maybe start a business or do your own thing or buy a house or buy a car or whatever you want, if you get what I mean. So let's just do the math real quick so I can show you guys the power of it. In four years, there's 12 months per year. That's 48 months. If you just invest or save at least $200, and this isn't even accounting interest that you earn on it, just $200 a month from working, then you're gonna be sitting on $9,600 by the time you graduate. And I'm telling you, as a 22 year old, if I had that money right here from doing that, if I would have known this advice, I would be so much better off. I mean, we all would be. All right, switching sides real quick. The fourth thing that I wanna say is college is a very, 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 very lonely experience and a very lonely journey because no one around you, the people around you who aren't in college, family, friends, people you've grown up with, they don't know what you're going through as a college student. Think about it, you're a full-time college student. Most likely you're gonna have to work 30, 40 hours per week on top of being a student to fund your bills and to fund your lifestyle because it's not cheap being a student. You're gonna have relationships that may suffer. And on top of all of that, while you're, while you're going through all this, not only are you gonna have to be in class, but you're gonna have to be studying after, after class, doing homework, studying for exams, going to certain little meetups, events for your classes. And no one around you is gonna understand this. But I'm telling you right now as a college graduate, the one thing that I will say is that you're not alone, all right? And I wish I would've known this when I was 17 years old. Um, I didn't really have a video like this or anyone around me telling me this, but in the process of you feeling like you're alone, just remember that all the other college students around you in school, no matter how cool they may look or how financially good they may be, they're going through the same thing as you, okay? Okay, the final thing I wanna say for new college students and people just getting into college, just because you're a college student who has a bunch of classes to do, don't let that be an excuse for you to not be as productive as you possibly could. Your productivity needs to be at an all-time high because again, like I've been mentioning, you're gonna have to be studying and doing all your coursework at the same time of working a job so you can um, fund your college journey, your classes, your books, your rent, all of that. But then also you wanna develop yourself. So you need to gain new experiences and focus on your passions and developing those passions. So don't be a lazy college student. I'm telling you right now, five years later, you're gonna thank yourself. College isn't all about partying, drinking, smoking, hanging out with friends. Those of you who spend your extra free time I'm not doing those things and instead focusing on things that will make you more money that will get you um, better physically that will develop yourself mentally and emotionally doing these things will get you more better off um, rather than just wasting your time so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see I think one of the next videos that I'll have out will be a vlog of my graduation day because I have everything recorded and yeah subscribe if you haven't already because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I really appreciate that and then like the video if you enjoyed anything I said or if you've learned anything from this video and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out